minutes. Sweets and Sue, so what happens is, Daytax cross dressing. He comes in, he sees Stama, she's got a beard. No. It's rubbish. That, that doesn't happen. How are you all? Doing good. 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 Season one was excellent. Thank I mean, you. It's so weird to see you in this Daytax car and just how you become a completely different person. Does that makeup help that? Or? Yeah, I think it's, it's as soon as you put the makeup on and you put the, the wig and the eyes in and the, the outfit on, yeah, it definitely gives you a certain swagger. And um, obviously with uh, uh, the alien languages as well, I think gives a great depth to the to the show. And, um, uh, David G. Peterson's done a fantastic job. So it's um, yeah, it's, it's fun to uh, it was a fun first season, and I hope the second season is uh, equally as good, if not if not better. How tough is it to wrap yourself around that speech, the alien speech? Um, it's 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 tricky at first. I mean, I think I'm looking forward to seeing what David has. You know, he's obviously done Game of Thrones mm -hmm. and other um, cool projects. So at first, it's a bit like wow. It's, it's, it's you think it's like God gobbledygook and you're like okay I just have to know what I'm saying I guess I'm very you know it's very much like learning a new language in many ways um, uh, but it's it's tricky but it's a lot of fun to uh, to say it and get your words around it me and Jamie would talk about it and she said she would say one time oh, we both sound a little different when we say it and I said well darling you know you are from a higher class than I am you know I'm ripped I'm from the gutter so um, if you get someone from different you know, societies in some country they will sound different so, but it's a lot of fun to do and enjoy it so the duplicitous <laughs> nature of not just you but also your wife I mean how fun is that to come and, and, and be able to sink your teeth into something so like oh. deep and also to counter some you know no it's, a good, it's a good point I, I it's a lot of fun because I, I think um, the scripts have been really interesting uh, the dynamic between Stama and Daytac are obviously um one makes it like similar to human relationships, unfortunately, um, or fortunately, depends how you, how you look at it. Um, and the uh, you know the stammer's very wise. She's cunning. She's cold, calculating. Some might say she's more she's she's more evil than Daytac. Um, that is yet to be seen. Although <laughs> the ending of season one would suggest. Um, but it, it's it's a it's a great experience to play that with Jamie because. There's a lot. There's a lot going on within the, with the relationship of how she behaves to me and how she has to sort of have this sort of pseudo way of behaving, where I'm sort of uh, obviously thinking that something is my idea when, of course, she's planted the seed in my head. Um, and it's 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 fun next season as well. What I've read so far of how Daytac is not going to be in defiance at the beginning of next season. Obviously, I can't say where he is, but he's not in the top household and then um, you know it's like the ship without a rudder if you will <laughs> although Daytac's rudder wasn't <laughs> he was steering them to the rocks at the end of season one so um, I think he has to learn to uh, know when to you know know when to uh, know when to shoot from the hip and know when to keep his mouth shut and then um, you know maybe one can find more information about certain characters and then you can um, Reel them around your finger and find out where the source is. I'm being very ambiguous right now for certain things. But if you kill, if you you know, if you maim and kill people right away, you won't find out a lot about them. So I think Daytac needs to learn that. And, um, the place where he goes to, I think he he might. I wouldn't say he becomes humbled, but he definitely has uh, time to reflect. Like, it's different than Bill, I mean, you know, being in the bathtub with Jamie. I mean, it's obviously, it's pretty tough. Uh, uh, it looks quite lovely, you know, but it's uh, it's quite hard to shoot, actually, because a lot of the time there's these bean bags or these sandbags in the, uh, underneath the water, and, um, you know, and it's all limbs, you know, knees and bones and shins and ankles, and, um, you know, once you go above the water, it's all calm. 
and there's a lot going on under the water there, you know. And it's not, it's not pretty. <laughs> you think, and then, and then there's a lascivious sense. I'm like, no, nothing whatsoever. It's all my Scottish knees banging into Jamie's buttocks and stuff. <laughs> She's like, Tony, for bl- bloody hell! And I'm like, sorry, darling. <laughs> you know, but they're quite fun scenes to do, aren't they? Like, you look, and they're lips, I think they're lit very cool, yeah, aren't they? they? It's, it's, it's very cool when you see it in your, in your front room. Yeah. Hey, I've got three minutes. I was just kidding. I was talking about my mother. I was talking about you. <laughs> I was talking, I'm going to take these, is that okay? <laughs>